Let's see question 12. A random variable x has binomial distribution with five trials. Okay, so here are the five trials such that probability of success of each trial is p. So this p is probability of success and probability of failure is q. Okay. Question 8. State the value of x equals to 2 and also x equals to 3 plus together in fraction form. So p2 plus p, I mean x equals 2, x equals 3 is the middle part here, right? So obviously, you know that the total probability will always be equals to 1, correct? That's the total probability. So since we want to find the middle part here, we just take 1 minus this 2. Lah. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. So question A, we want to find px equals 2 plus px equals 3. You just have to take 1 minus 81 over 128 minus 1 over 64. So let me write here. Your answer should be 45 over 128. Okay, pretty straightforward. Question B. Hence, show that P equals to 3 over 16Q. So they said hence, right? So that means you have to use the answer from A. So since we have um, X equals to X equals to 3, right? The combination, right? So we know that Okay, so we can just write like this, px equals 2 plus px equals 3 is equals to 45 over 1 to 8. So if we want to use the p value, that means we have to expand this binomial. So if we expand this binomial, it's going to be um, 5 trials, right? So 5c2 and then p value. Okay, we don't know what is p, right? So we write that p square q3 okay if you don't know what i'm doing here this is actually the binomial um what is it binomial uh, formula so n c r p power r and q power n minus r okay so this is the formula for those who don't know what i'm doing okay, wait, wait. okay. so now we got this plus so 5c3 Okay, for we are doing the second part here. 5c3 times p power 3 times q power 2 equals to 45 over 1 to 8. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over. Okay, so that I don't, I try to eliminate fraction as much as I can because I don't really like it to be there. So I'm going to bring 1 to 8 to the other side. So 5c2 is equals to 10, am I right? Let me check. 5C2, yes, equals to 10, times 1 to 8, I will get 1 to 8 O. P square Q cube plus 5C3, 5C3 is also 10, so it's 10 times 1 to 8, so it's 1 to 8 O. P cube and Q square equals to 45. So now what we can do is that we can factorize what they have in common. So when I factorize, I get 1, 2, 8, O. Oh. So here got P square, here got P cube. So I'm going to take out P square. And then here got Q cube and Q square. So I'm going to take out Q square. So what I have left is Q on the... On one side, I got Q plus P equals to 45. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because... You see here Q plus P. So we know that the probability of success plus the probability of failure will be equals to 1. Correct? So this is a... This this one you should know lah, okay? Probability of success plus probability of failure is equals to 1. So in this case, this one actually becomes 1. So now what is left is 1, 2, 8, O, P square, Q square equals to 45. So we're going to shift this. So P square equals to 45 over 1280 Q square. Okay, so P is equals to, you're going to square root. So 45 over 1280 is actually 9 over 256 Q square. 
okay so your answer is p equals to 3 over 256 is 16 right 16 square q yeah so this should be your answer